I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today talking about the differences between a will and a trust. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm here to talk about wills versus trusts. You know, there's two sure things in life, death and taxes. And death is not a matter of if you'll die, it's a matter of when. So there are three different ways that you can be prepared for your death at some point in time. Uh, obviously, you can do absolutely nothing, and the state that you live in has a plan for you. They will determine how your assets and your children, if you have any minor children, are taken care of after your passing. Now, most people like to have a little bit more control over that. And so in order for you to decide and determine how you want your assets to be handled, there's two additional ways you can address that. One of which is to have a will. Now, a will is a very simple legal document that states how you want your affairs to be handled and your assets distributed after you die. After you die. It's an essential component of estate planning. And there are a lot of do-it-yourself wills out there, but I would strongly encourage you to seek a professional because I've seen wills done that were not done well and then they become a mess for the family after passing. Uh, so within reason, you can decide exactly how you want your assets to be determined. However, it will go to a probate court for confirmation. So what that means is that the state will still look at your will and determine how to distribute your assets. And they may or may not decide to, according to your wishes, they just use it as a guideline. So you want to be really careful to make sure that you have a strong will in place and that's why it's important to have someone who can make it clear uh, like a, an attorney rather than a do-it-yourself type will. Now the second way you can do uh, estate planning is a trust. And a trust is a fiduciary relationship that is established. So for, say for example, you determine who you want to handle your assets after you pass. Maybe it's a child, family member, or a friend. And that person becomes the trustee. That person then makes all the financial decisions for you with the guidance of the will that you have put into place as well. Now what this does is it helps avoid the probate court. Now this can make things much much simpler for your heirs and for the trustee rather than having to go to the probate court. Now the difference between the two is that a will is very very inexpensive put together. A trust can be a little bit more expensive to put together um, you know probably in the range of a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in general but it saves a lot of money in the long run. If you go to a will and you have to go to probate court, those probate fees can be anywhere from two to eight percent of your estate. So it can be very, very expensive taking money from the estate that you want to have passed along to your family. Sometimes it can also mean that any property that you own would have to be sold because they have to pay for those court fees. So it's very, very important versus some simple upfront fees for the trustee. So your executor would ultimately be responsible for sorting out the estate, which could be take the next six to 18 months, even with a trust, but it's definitely a lot less expensive. So either way, whether you choose a will or a trust, you should seek the advice of your trusted professional advisors, tax, legal, and, and investment advisors. And trusts, ultimately offer more control of the assets, but they're more expensive and can be a little bit more tedious to set up. They also must be actively managed, so you definitely want to review them anytime you have a life change or every two to three years to make sure that your wishes are still being managed. And if you have any other questions about this or are looking for a referral for a great attorney or a legal person, we're happy to help. Feel free to give us a call and if you're thinking about making any moves, you can reach us at 562-316-2915 or you can email us at melinda at Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.